is since the last time you've been on the show, and it's been about a year and a half, you've won some sort of a blogging award. I won a blogging award. Well, tell us about the blogging award okay. and why you're such a big believer in blogging okay. in terms of helping out business-wise. Okay, awesome. Well, just this last December, I received the awesome notification that I won the 2014 Best Blog of the Year by the Women World Awards. And that just startled me. I couldn't believe it. Of all the bloggers in the world, um, and certainly it motivated me to keep going. So I have been blogging uh, for four and a half years, and it really was an outcrop of, of book. my book. Mm -hmm. And every week I started to look for ideas, experiences, lessons that I could share with people. Okay, but for the audience, Kathy, define what blogging is as opposed to other social media things you can do. So I believe the, the word uh, blog comes from weblog. So it's, it's your, your publishing on a website, and technically a blog has a conversation component. So you write your thoughts, somebody can share their it's comments. It's interactive. It's interactive. Um, now my, my blogging, sometimes I think of myself as a one-way blogger. I blog, and I notice... Few people share their comments, but they pass my work on through social media, through their contacts. So it's getting out there. Give us an example, Kat. Uh, so I wrote, um, when I write a blog, uh, recently one called I Apologize on His Behalf. This was inspired by a client conversation that I have. This was her idea that she shared with me. I thought, it's brilliant. I'm sharing it. It's a pretty vulnerable blog uh, if you want to check it out on my website. So I wrote that blog and I posted it on my website. I have a mm -hmm. blog page on my website. I posted it on LinkedIn. I shared it on Twitter and Facebook. So I put it out there in social media. And people started commenting and sharing it and it got a lot of readership. So, um, so that's how I know that it's making a meaningful difference. People will email me back. This was really important. Your timing was perfect. Thank you for, you know, you arrived just at the right, right day to lift so me. So apply it to business for us. Why is it, how can it help build a business? Right, right. So it has helped grow my business because people will hire me after seeing one of my blogs. And here's the weird part, Jim. They don't hire me for what I wrote about that day, that week. They hire me because they have another need that's been pressing. And I have been, as a regular blogger, blogging weekly, I am front of mind. What does that mean, Ken? It means I'm not invisible. I haven't disappeared in their life. I'm a regu I'm regular impression. Okay. They see my name. They see my blog every week for the last four years. Four years. And whether they open and read it or not, I'm still present in their life. So then, I mean, I recently got hired by a very large insurance company to come speak at their women's um, network group, their annual right. meeting, mm -hmm. and that's because I met this woman five years ago who's on the committee. She's got my blog for the last five years. Suddenly she's thinking, who should we hire as a speaker? Who should we hire? Kathy, I came into her mailbox. Right. She remembered me. She reached out. So literally I can, I can you asked me what percentage of my business was referral. I can tell you, you know, after looking at my numbers, what percentage was driven How by my time? blog. How much time? I mean, just quickly, ballpark, yeah. Kathy, do you Commitment. have to invest to make a successful blogging experience for your business? For me, it is four hours a week. It's a lot. That's a lot. Four hours so, a week, And I've right. got it down to some efficiency. So four hours from the question, what am I going to write about this week, mm -hmm. to whatever inspiration, research, the writing of it, the proofreading. I have a proofreader. So this reader. is a commitment that you make to yourself to do, do it weekly. I do. You don't owe it to anybody else to do it. I don't. However, I do owe it to them because they've come to expect consistency uh, okay. from me. Yeah.